everyone, my name is Tina and for today's hair tutorial, I'm going to show you a half up half down hairstyle with a twisted waterfall sides. To minimize flyaways, I'm going to apply some hair wax first. You can also choose to tease the hair to show the markation of where you need to stop. This was a requested updo and if you would like to see the photos, go to Facebook slash Makeup Wearables. The requested photo didn't have bangs, but I'm going to keep mine out because mine is pretty short and wispy and it will just create unnecessary flyaways later. I'm painting up my hair here so that you can see better, but this is a completely unnecessary step for you. Take a small section at the top and split it in half. And I'm going to name the strand positions instead of naming the strands because it's going to change constantly. So we're going to name the strand position top and bottom. Take the hair in the bottom position and cross it over to the top. And this is the way we're always going to make our twist by going bottom strand up. Now the newly made bottom strand, you're going to clamp between your lips to keep it out of your way. Take a small section of hair from the scalp, a longer section than before. Smooth that down. And then we're going to take that strand over the top strand. After that, we're going to take the hair out of our mouth. The strand from the mouth is going up over the bottom strand. And the bottom strand is now going into the mouth. So we're always going to take the hair in the bottom strand into the mouth. Every time you do this, you've created a hair twist. So we start the whole process again. We're going to take some hair from the scalp. Take that over the top strand. Replace the hair in your mouth with the other strand creating a hair twist, make sure that you're always following the same movements. Take a section of hair from the scalp and take that over the top section. Remove the hair from your mouth and go over the top section and the newly made bottom section you're going to put it in your mouth to create a hair twist. There are of course other variations of how to do this, but I chose to show you how to do it this way because um, I find that it comes out looking more flat and an hour after you do this, it's still going to stay flat. Um, some of these methods that you see, um, they will look nice for like 30 minutes and then an hour later it starts looking bulgy and bumpy. For this particular hairstyle, you will need to do about 4 to 5 twisted waterfalls before tying it up with an elastic band. Uh, make sure you use a uh, cheap elastic because we're going to need to cut this off at the end. After tying up the waterfall braid side, you're going to start teasing the crown before tying it up with an elastic band as well. You're also going to need 2-3 to three bobby pins to pin up the crown area to create extra lift. And from here onwards, it's all a breeze because all you're going to do is take small sections from each side, lay it flat against your scalp, and pin it. That's all you do. As you are alternating sides and pinning down the hair, try to layer it over the previous bobby pin so that it doesn't show. Um, but if you can't do that, that's not a problem because at the end, we're either going to remove it completely or push it down. To get exactly the same hairstyle as the girl in the photo, use a half an inch curling iron to curl your hair at this point. I myself have to use one inch curling iron because my hair wasn't quite long enough to get the same effect. And to finish off this twisted waterfall braid updo, 
Cut off the elastic that we used previously, push down all the bobby pins that are showing, or just simply remove it. Just make sure the last two bobby pins are up and secure. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you haven't, please subscribe, thumbs up, and share this with your friends to see a brand new hair tutorial every Thursdays and Saturdays. Bye guys! Bye.